I don't think I've ever expressed how much I actually like Berserk, mainly because there's never really been a reason to mention it in any of the past videos I've made, but I really like Berserk. And now that it's back, I finally have a real reason to talk about it, and I'm working on some Berserk videos, but I'm just really lazy, to be honest. But for now, I just wanted to talk about my thoughts on the latest uh, chapters, 365 and 366. If you haven't read the new chapters, I highly suggest you do so. With Mira's passing, there was a lot of questions whether or not the team would be able to hold up to the standard of Berserk, and... I do have a few minor annoyances with the art of the new chapters, but overall, it was pretty good. It's far better than anything I could ever do, and I don't want it to sound like I have an actual problem with the art at all, but Mira's art has always been something that stood out leagues above anything else out there, and it was almost like a realization hit me that we're never going to get the same quality that it once was. It still looked great, and I think it's still well above any other manga out there, but at this point, it'll only ever be close enough. It's never going to be the exact same as it was, and reading the new chapters finally brought that reality to me. And to actually talk about the content from the chapters, both 365 and 366 were extremely short with very little dialogue, which I've noticed some people complaining about. I don't really see it that way, though. There wasn't really any need for a crazy amount of dialogue or anything. It seemed like the beginning of a chaotic moment, where Guts is reacting completely off of his anger again, while being consumed by the Beast of Darkness and his rage, which doesn't leave a whole lot of room for a civilized discussion, while everyone else is realizing what happened and the actual ramifications of this event. I'm extremely worried about what's going to happen next in the story, especially with Zod showing up. Leading up to this moment, I had anticipated that Griffith showing up would be much less confrontational, and more of him just kind of fading away, leaving them with the realization that Griffith and the kid were one being, and giving Guts, at least, a motivation to return and confront him and potentially giving Casca another outlet so the entirety of her memories aren't directly related to Guts as much, hopefully allowing her to overcome it and the ability to actually face and be with Guts. But that isn't even remotely close to what has actually happened. Griffith didn't disappear like he normally does, and it leaves the possibility that Elfhelm could potentially be destroyed, or at least no longer be a safe place anymore. But depending on how the fight actually plays out, there's a lot of different paths it could go, but I think all of the potential paths lead back to confronting Griffith at Falconia. And I'm extremely excited to see how that plays out. But for now, I'm more so worried about what's going to happen to the inhabitants of the island and just the utter chaos that this event will cause. Especially with Casca collapsing, there's a very good possibility that being in the presence of Griffith was just far too much for her to handle, and now we're dealing with a potentially even more broken Casca. That, to be honest, Guts is potentially going to leave. I never thought Guts would even be in a position to consider leaving Casca, and to be honest, he might not be, but I think that's the way the story's leaning. If Casca can't actually recover from this, she could just be out of commission for a while. And with Guts's rage coming back in its entirety, I can definitely see Guts leaning into that rage and going off on his own again. But, on the other hand, there's always the potential that this ends up forcing everybody to go back. This was one of the only safe places for them, and it's been compromised. But everything depends on how Guts and Casca recover from this moment. But for me, I think the best course of action is everybody leaving and ending up meeting up with all of their other allies like Rickert and his group and Luca and the uh, working ladies and eliminating the source of their trauma. But that's a long and painful road that they're going to have to deal with. But whatever path they end up on, I'm extremely excited. I think both of the chapters, for as short and quick as they were, were excellent and I can't wait for more. I hope they take their time and don't rush it or anything, but I really think Berserk is in safe hands. Thanks for watching.